Congressman Alan West is examining the Muslim Brotherhood's influence in America. The Brotherhood is considered the granddaddy of Islamic extremist groups and is linked to terrorist organizations. In a Capitol Hill briefing on Monday, Representative West said it's important to learn just how much progress the Muslim Brotherhood has made in the U.S. This is about the protection of each and every American citizen who ever resides within our borders. It is the initial work product of a 14-month research by the nonprofit Citizens for National Security, an all-volunteer group that traced the infiltration of the Muslim Brotherhood into America since it came here in 1962. CBN terrorism analyst Eric Stackelbeck attended the briefing. On CBN Newswatch, he said groups affiliated with the Muslim Brotherhood have influence with the White House. Several major American Muslim groups, who, by the way, are regular guests of this White House, one of the chief groups, Lee, chief groups is the Islamic Society of North America, or ISNA. This is one of the largest American Muslim groups. They've been at the White House on a frequent basis. They've met with Janet Napolitano, Department of Homeland Security chief. These groups, Lee, which, again, I can't stress enough, are named in the Muslim Brotherhood's own documents as friends of the Brotherhood. These groups are advising this, this White House. They also advised, in many cases, the Bush White House on their Muslim outreach policy. The Brotherhood's critics say that while the organization does not practice terrorism itself, it is a long-term threat to America's security.